first uh, started at uh, St Joey's, uh, then went down to the uh, to Geelong. We uh, played the seconds for a little while, then in the seniors. Uh, ended up playing 183 games. Uh, then went to South for a couple of years, uh, just to get 200 games, 218. Then uh, after that, I ended up coming back to uh, Geelong West and played with West for three years. Uh, uh, after that, I ended up coming to uh, uh, to uh, North Geelong and coached them for one, one year and then went to a new town for three, uh, which was good. We had a good success there, ended up winning three premierships. Yeah, I uh, enjoyed playing at West. It was uh, fairly aggressive football and whatever else, a bit different to the, the uh, VFL. Um, just, uh, yeah. A bit of a target occasionally from different things, uh, different players and stuff like that. Only because uh, you know you've played higher grade, umpires uh, made it a little bit harder for you, I think too. Um, but uh, yeah, I ended up playing with a lot of great players down there, uh, a lot of people that I knew, uh, and enjoyed my time there. 1979 Grand Final against Coburg. Um, yeah, fairly torrid affair. Um, uh, I was playing centre half forward. Uh, we were uh, we looked like we were going to win the game. Actually, the ball was coming down, uh, being delivered pretty well. At, uh, a few uh, skirmishes broke out and whatever else. And I ended up on the ground and uh, ended up getting my tear duct ripped out of my eye. And uh, I suppose if it happened these days, it'd be a Spanish Inquisition. But uh, yeah, and I ended up in the, the hospital for a couple of weeks. Um, had a plastic tear duct put in my eye, but uh, yeah, it was a fairly torrid affair, and uh, just uh, unfortunate that we ended up losing by a few points in the end. So, uh, as far as the thing happening, I didn't want to talk about it too much. Uh, you know, people do things in the spur of the moment and whatever, but uh, yeah, it was just unfortunate that we ended up uh, losing by a few points. Uh, I was laying there, and they said, "Oh, you'll be back on again when you come off," but. The old ambulance straight to the hospital, so <laughs> it didn't happen. We're just uh, comparing the standard of the VFL compared to the, the VFA when with the step down. Um, I suppose being a, a, a VFL player, uh, I think the umpires made it a little bit hard for you, uh, made it a little bit harder than the normal person. Uh, maybe the spotlight was on you, but um, yeah, they. Uh, they, uh, they, you just have to mark the ball in your teeth just to have to take a mark. Uh, yeah, they're pretty hard on, on guys coming from higher levels down to, down to the other levels. And uh, also uh, tribunal hearings, I think most of them used to just turn away and uh, look the other way. Uh, you know, they weren't getting paid for going out on a, on a cold Tuesday night. Yeah, just uh, talking about the players that I've played with at, at West, um, you know, you, you couldn't go past uh, Joe at full forward, Joe Rodjevic. Um, yeah, he, uh, he had a nick in the old VFA. He was very good at uh, what he did, the way he played the game. Uh, then uh, we'd, we'd look at uh, Tony Gilmore. Uh, you couldn't go past him for uh, getting the ball out of the centre or whatever else. Um, who else could I talk about? I could talk about Warwick Gates, I suppose. Uh, he was a, a stalwart at Geelong West. I uh, ended up uh, coaching Geelong West as well, holding the whole, whole football club together at some stage there, uh, many years ago. But uh, yeah, he surprised me with uh, the, you know, the way he played the game and, and, and uh, brought the club together, actually. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, talking about uh, the coaches that I've uh, played under. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's a fairly long list. When I first started at Geelong, there was uh, Peter Pianto. Uh, then there was Bill McMaster, uh, Polly Farmer, um, Rod Olson. Then I went to South, uh, playing under Ian Stewart, and then Des Tudnam. Then I uh, came back. Uh, then to West, uh, Bill Goggin. Uh, after Bill Goggin was Warwick Gates. Uh, then local league, I uh, ended up going uh, to uh, Newtown under Kevin Higgins. Uh, we had a fair bit of success there. Uh, 
the time at Geelong West uh, was fairly exciting. Uh, different brand of footy, of course, but uh, yeah, still enjoyed the journey. Yeah. You've given your heart to get here and your soul to get it right. You can take them boots and all, um, but it's sure gonna take a fight. When you spend all week getting to your peak, you're gonna have your say. You bet. On Sunday, it's the real.